American spiritualist Madame Wheeler gave astrological Sabian symbol visions transcribed by an assistant from her sleeping trances in the teens and twenties. These are her messages for today. October 3rd, 2019. Sun number one. Sun in Libra at 10 degrees, 35 minutes. This motif is concerned with overseeing or with focus. It is also concerned with the look. Every student is familiar with the look, the arresting gaze of a professor that can convey many meanings. An unruly student can be set in place with the look. One might experience uneasiness, wondering whether the look is one of fault-finding, disdain, curios curious surprise, or benevolent intrigue. The look creates a moment of suspense, the resolution of which can lead to outcomes spanning from intimidation to humor. A president looks out for his country. As the leader of a nation, the president is peerless, without equal, accepting leaders of other nations. President and professor are charged with the responsibility for others, their general welfare, or their education. As with all leaders and teachers, one can only hope for a sense of wise vision. The moon, number two. Moon in Sagittarius at 21 degrees, 54 minutes. A Chinese laundry is an image of taking on work that gains a foothold in a social economy. This symbol is an historical reference to Chinese immigrants striving to find ways to make a livelihood in a foreign, often intolerant land. Chinese laundries arose in North American urban centers in the 19th century as a means to gain entry into the local economy, to get a foothold in a foreign society. Laundry derives from Middle English lander, the French laver, to wash, and ultimately from lavender, a sweet aromatic shrub. The function of laundry is to take in what is soiled and send it out clean. The soiled clothes are from those who can afford to have someone else, in a manner of speaking, do their dirty laundry. Mercury, number three. Mercury in Scorpio at one degree, six minutes. A broken bottle and spilled perfume. Imagine a situation that appears to flow along easily when, after a mounting of pressure, something disturbs the atmosphere. Sitting beside a woman on a bus who is wearing a powerful perfume, might stir up uncomfortable feelings. Smell is related to memory and motivation. A pleasant fragrance may allure, recall fond memories, or have one turn in repulsion. Perhaps the woman accidentally drops her perfume bottle, releasing an overwhelming stench and causing friction to mount, such that something has to give. One may suddenly have to get off that bus. Venus, number four. Venus in Libra at 24 degrees, 17 minutes. An autumn leaf signals a turn of season, the end of a time of abundance and plenty. 
Leaves inevitably, yet unpredictably, fall from trees in autumn, having turned colors green to yellow and red, red to brown and gray. Consider the practice of tithing, a tax, voluntary and religious practices, measuring a tenth part, five doubled of one's yearly and income to aid those less fortunate. Tithing is based on the belief, the trust, that one can afford to give a portion of one's wealth and abundance away without inflicting harm to one's own welfare. In fact, some would say that giving charitably to those more needful brings greater rewards, tenfold rewards, to the generous of heart. Falling autumn leaves are clearly a sign of decline, death, and decay, which might awaken an awareness that no one can hold on to power, wealth, and possessions forever. Cycles of feast or famine are inevitable. The genius of generosity sends forth a promising balance for all. Mars, number five. Mars in Virgo at 29 degrees, 57 minutes. A false call unheard in attention to immediate service is an image of an astute sense of priority rising above the clamor of unimportant issues. A false call is a summons that bears no weight or merit, a bluff for attention. A call or an utterance is unheard when it is not audible, for example, when it is too far away to be heard. Hearing dis differs from listening. One can hear another's words, but not listen to what is said. Attention to immediate service implies a focus of concentration in the present moment to something that requires the benefit of personal assistance. Think of a parent ignoring a child's cry for attention while preparing the evening meal. Exercising selective inattention sets a nourishing meal above non-essential distraction. Jupiter, number six. Jupiter in Sagittarius at 18 degrees, 37 minutes. Pelicans moving their habitat has to do with encroachment and forcing those pelicans to migrate. It also has to do with sharing food in their bills and having very big mouths, which can sometimes talk a lot. Often a consequence of migration is the bringing of food, the sharing of food, and the uh, offering of food to the new culture. Saturn, number seven. Saturn in Capricorn at 14 degrees, seven minutes. Many toys in the children's ward of a hospital. Skill in alleviating the impact of the hard facts of human reality Having the right touch, one that does not seek to avoid, but rather one that comes from a generous heart of compassion, is the trait of a fine host or hostess. Although one's destination in life is ever towards one's own end, one can take care to enjoy life along the way. The manner in which humans travel their paths to their destinations is not ruled by hard and fast strictures, but by the care emanating from the heart, which guides and guards against harm along the way. Uranus, number eight. Uranus in Taurus at five degrees, 34 minutes retrograde. A bridge being built across a gorge is an image of a constructive approach to get to the other side. The bridge being built attempting to span an open distance is still in a potential stage, not yet complete. Building a bridge is not an easy matter. Reaching completion is a feat of engineering that calls for preparation and planning. 
and for everything to be in the right place. A gorge is a narrow opening between hills or a rocky ravine through which often flows rushing water. The word gorge relates to the throat, swallowing, gorging, necktie fashion, the neckerchief, or ruff, is ultimately tied to the word gorgeous, luxurious, fashionable neck adornments of resplendent color. The kerchief is usually tied in a knot at the throat, suggesting a knotty issue regarding crossing the gorge or throat. Neptune, number nine. Neptune in Pisces at 16 degrees 41 minutes retrograde. An Easter Promenade. Imagine an artist recently inspired by a terrible but powerful muse. He goes out on Easter Sunday to see the entire community moving along like a herd of cattle, driven, as it were, by social niceties and pretensions of importance expressed mostly through apparel. He might rush into the crowd like an explosive madman, violently disturbing the peaceful scene. He might suppress the powerful, tormenting urges, recognizing an impending disaster of showing himself at an inappropriate place and time. He might flee back into the wilderness forest, just like a deep inner inflammation that rises to the surface as a hot, angry boil. The upsurge of raw personal powers cannot always be controlled when the wild madman orangutan is freed from his cage. Something in the human psyche, in the social world, has to give. Pluto, number 10. Pluto and Capricorn at 20 degrees, 38 minutes. A relay race is an image of a team effort focused on the passing of the baton to the next runner. A relay team calls for each individual to exert their best at the appropriate time within the lines that define their lane. Little separates team members in status. It is crucial that each help the other in a smooth exchange for maximum team success. While a relay race is one, run, the crowds cheer their vocal support. There is a strong focus on athletes excelling in a cooperative competition, the merging of power and precision in the running of the race, the spontaneous art orchestration of the crowd at each interval, the groans of thousands of voices when a baton is dropped, the crescendo of delight at a smooth pass and a burst of speed. North Node or Destiny, number 11. North True Node in Cancer at 13 degrees, 14 minutes. A very old man facing a vast dark space to the northeast. An image of solitude and aloneness as one faces one's own good night. A very old man is a man who has nearly run his course in life. The space to the northeast is associated with stillness, the deepest personal inwardness. As a temporal image, the northeast refers to the time of dreamless sleep, a time when the ego structure dissolves completely into the transpersonal realm. This space and time stands in relief from the social realm. While facing the northeast, one is all alone. The I Ching associates this time and direction with a vast mountain. Standing still, its peak reaching high toward heaven, a very old man faces with heightened awareness the issue of his own being against the vast dark space of all eternity. Please be sure to like us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share us. We could use a thousand subscriptions on the Mystic Ashram channel. So be sure to subscribe 
and you can also ring the bell for alerts. And if you want to check out our Mystic Ashram on Patreon, you can become a Patreon patron. Thank you so much for your support of Mystic Ashram and many, many blessings. Your views and comments matter. I love to hear from all of you. Thank you. And tune in next time for more transformation news.